Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can use the slew commands in order to move around the world very very quickly without actually having to fly to a certain position. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is uh, normally when we're flying these airplanes, you know, we climb in here, we give it full throttle, we climb up and we have to go around and, and you know, here, here at Madeira, by the way, so it's going to be a little while to take off and then come back around and come back in again from the landing here. That can be kind of tedious, especially if you're practicing some kind of approaches. Enter the slew command. So what the slew command is going to do is it's going to give us the ability to dynamically position our aircraft. So the best way to understand the slew command is to press the escape key, go ahead and press the control key, make your way over to the keyboard, and then under name, type in S-L-E-W. This is going to give you all the different keys you're going to need to notice. Notice we have the ability to translate upward. We can translate downwards. Or we can translate left. We can do right. We can even roll the aircraft dynamically. And again, we'll see exactly how these controls have been implemented in just a few moments. So let's go back over to our flight sim real quick. Go ahead and press the Y key, and now we are in slew mode. Notice we lose all camera controls and we're trapped in this third person kind of a view. So the basic controls are going to be pressing the F4 key is going to go ahead and bring us upwards. Pressing the F3 key in this particular case is not going to do anything. Hitting F5 brings us up very quickly, and then pressing F1 brings us down. Pressing the A key brings us down very, very slowly. And notice you can kind of uh, dynamically select exactly what altitude you want to be. Now to make things even better, over on your numpad, if you have one, you can actually change the position of the aircraft. If I press the four key and the six key, that's going to be slowing me left and right. If I press the number one and the number three key, that's going to change my position as far as the yaw controls goes. Now if I press seven and nine, it's going to give me the ability to adjust the roll. So in this case, I can actually flip my plane all the way over and basically freeze it in this position. So now if I were to cancel out my slewing action, I'd be stuck in this attitude when we're coming back around, which I don't know about you, but that seems to be a pretty difficult attitude to be flying in. So I'll go ahead and I'll do some quick little corrections here, and everything is looking pretty good. Now if I hold the 8 key on the numpad, it's going to yaw me. If I bring me forward, if I hold the 2 key, it's going to make me backwards. So this gives me the ability to do some pretty fun things, like go driving all the way over here, turn myself around, I'll point myself back at the runway, and we'll go ahead and back ourselves up, and try to adjust my approach here just a teeny tiny bit. And now I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. So now if I wanted to return back to normal flying, all I would do is press the Y key again, and you'll notice the program is smart enough to give you a little bit of speed when you're coming in from these kinds of approaches. So now if you were to go ahead and change your um, slew from the air right now, for example, I press Y, maybe I want to approach from the other runway. I'll go ahead and turn myself around. I'll zip myself all the way over here. I'll go ahead and turn myself around again. I'll go ahead and tap the Y key, but notice we've maintained the same speed that we were previously. So now if I wanted to do something really, really dangerous, let's go ahead and bring ourselves down to a stall here. Of course, it's a Cessna 152. Do they really stall? Hmm, <laughs> they do. All right, this is my stall. Press the Y key. Now we can do all sorts of fun things. We can go and line ourselves up and put ourselves back over the runway. Maybe we want to gain a little bit of altitude here. We'll turn ourselves back around. It looks like I'm getting a little bit of a rolling issue here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the roll key a couple times. And then I'll go ahead and cancel it. And you'll notice I am still stalled. The only time in which you're going to actually have any speed is in the event that you've already been moving at a specific speed. So if you want to have a little bit of fun with this too, we can go ahead and put ourselves in an absolutely positively dangerous dive here. You would normally do this in a 152, especially at full throttle. Now I can just mash the Y key and I'll correct my mistake. Bring myself around. Uh, maybe I want to adjust my pitch just a little bit. Whoa! Get myself all sorts of discombobulated here. Point myself up in a safe direction. Give myself a tiny bit of roll to correct my mistake there. Press the Y key. Look at that. All that speed has now been converted into vertical speed as opposed to that other speed. So hopefully this video is helpful as far as seeing slew. Uh, my favorite use for this, of course, is if I'm practicing some kind of approach to an airport. I can quickly reset it very, very quickly. Enjoy.